Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're looking into Windows 365, you probably come across different licensing options like Standard, Frontline, and Frontline Shared. But what did he mean? Which one is right for you? In this video, I'm going to break down how each licensing mode works, the differences of the licensing modes and their use cases, and then how to save money with the right choice. So stick around if you want to avoid overpaying for Windows 365. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. On this channel, you can find the latest news around Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, Intune, Nerdio, and much more. Let's get to the content. What exactly is Windows 365? Windows 365 is Microsoft Cloud PC solution that allows users to access a full Windows experience from any device. It's hosted in the Azure Cloud, meaning no more expensive on-prem servers. Why is the licensing important? Because picking the right licensing mode affects the cost, the flexibility of the solution, usability, and the end user experience. Windows 365 is a subscription-based service. You pay for what you use and consume. So you want to ensure that what you're paying is the right cost. Now that we've got three different license types, it's really important that we pick the, the correct one. So in this video, we're going to explore all three different license types and advise which one is best for your use case. All right, so the first option that we're gonna look at is Windows 365 Standard. And that's what most people think of when they hear Cloud PC. Windows 365 Standard is a dedicated Cloud PC for each user. It's always on and ready to use, and there's a fixed monthly price per user, starting to get around 35 pounds. And who's the use case? Mainly full-time employees working remotely or in an office, or power users who need a persistent Windows environment. Since every single user needs their own cloud PC, it's a one-to-one -one mapping, it can get very expensive very quickly. Let's say you've got 10 employees, you need 10 Windows 365 standard licenses, there's no sharing. So that's going to cost you around £350 a month, irrelevant as to whether the user uses the desktop or not. When you think about Windows 365 licensing, you need to think about who's actually going to be using that desktop, because if you assign that desktop for 500 people, and maybe only hundred people use that desktop then you're still paying for 500 licenses so you need to be really careful because if you're not then Windows 365 can get very expensive very quickly so now let's look at Windows 365 frontline Windows 365 frontline is designed for shift workers instead of having one cloud PC per user we've got up to three users that can share one license only one user can access it at one time and each user gets their own personalized session and it's lower cost than standard. Who's it for? It's for shift workers in industries like retail, customer service, healthcare, and customers with part-time employees. So let's do an example. We've got a hospital which has 15 nurses working in it. Instead of having 15 standard licenses, they could just buy five frontline licenses, saving lots of money. The downside is more than one user needs to access the cloud PC at the same time. They'll have to wait. So now let's talk about Windows 365 Frontline. So with Windows 365 Standard, you had one license per user, so it's a one-to-one -one mapping. With Windows 365 Frontline, we have one license to three users, okay? And what does that mean from a licensing perspective? Basically what happens is you take that one, li one license and you spread it amongst three users, okay? And each individual user still gets their own personal desktop, but only one user can use that desktop at any one time. Why is it three users? Because it's 24 hours in the day, divided by eight equals three. So think about follow the sun type shift workers. It's for those people in retail, those people working in the hospital. It saves you having to buy three separate licenses. Um, we can just buy one frontline license, and then that can be shared amongst those three users. That ends up being a lot cheaper than buying free individual licenses. Towards the end of the video, we'll do some cost comparisons where we compare how much cheaper is um, Windows 365 Frontline than standard. But the massive caveat is only one user can access that license at any one time. Think of it about concurrent licensing. If you had uh, 300 users and a user concurrency ratio of 100, what we would do with Windows 365 Frontline is we would just buy 100 frontline licenses okay and then that means 100 people at a time um, can use those desktops 
but as soon as user 101 tries to use a desktop within that eight hour period it will say no sorry we don't have enough licenses so that's essentially how it works okay so now let's look at windows switch 5 frontline shared mode this is an extension of frontline but without individual user profiles multiple users can access the same cloud pc they don't get any personalized settings so all users share the same environment and this is best for a temporary staff and training environment. Think about temporary workers, training labs and kiosks, and companies that don't need personalized desktops. It's the cheapest way um, to get Windows 365 in a multi-user environment. The biggest problem, there's no personal settings. Everyone shares the same desktops. When the user logs off and then logs back in again, it starts from, from afresh. It's a non-persistent environment made for accessing applications to a certain task. Think about filling your timesheet or working at a kiosk or something like that. But we've got the limitation around how many licenses we can assign. If we assign, say, 20 frontline shared licenses, it means we can only have 20 people accessing those resources at the same time. The biggest difference between frontline shared and frontline is they use the same desktop and that desktop may have a particular application on it if you were using frontline you'd have the individual applications that the users were using and they'd be able to launch multiple applications on that desktop and they probably log in and use that desktop for six seven eight hours then they log out then they could good to go again windows 365 frontline shared is multiple users accessing one shared desktop they not meant to use it as a full desktop experience. It's meant to be just using particular applications and then filling in the timesheet and then logging out again. Okay, so they're the, the three different scenarios that we've got. So now let's see what is the experience like for deploying those desktops. We'll head over into the Intune portal and I'll see what that is. All right, so I'm in the Intune portal. Let's head over there and see what this looks like from a provisioning point of view. So, what we can do here is we can go to Windows 365 and set the provisioning policy. I'm going to create a provisioning policy for each type and then we'll walk through some of the different options that you can get. So if I go to create provisioning policy, this is going to be standard. And now we can select enterprise or frontline. We're going to select enterprise because that's the standard one that's been around for a while. And we'll select enter ID join. Uh, Microsoft hosted network. We can select the region as automatic or we can select a specific place. So I'm just going to leave that as automatic. Uh, if there's a failure within that region, it means we can't auto recover from that. So we're just going to select automatic and then we'll use SSO. And that's the standard image we're going to select. And we're going to select my region, United Kingdom. I'm just going to select all the defaults here. That's just a standard Windows 365 provisioning policy that we just created. Okay. All right, so the next we're actually going to create a front line and see what options we get from there. So I'm just going to create a front line. So here we just select a front line, okay? And here we can see we've got two options. We can select dedicated or shared. So as you can see, the, the shared is saying recommended for users who use a cloud PC for a short period of time and don't require data to be preserved. It's explaining uh, that non persistent license. And join type again, we're just going to select enter ID, hosted network, and going to select that. So, again, I'm going to select that as UK South, and then also just like the automatic as well. At the moment, the only difference we've selected here is the difference between the two licensing stuff. Okay, so we're going to select next again, just select the image English United Kingdom, same scope tags, assignments. When you're using Frontline, you have to set it to a group with. The provisioning policy, for example, we could do it on a per user basis, but here you have to use a group because you're sharing those devices. All right, so that's it. There's only one slight different setting change that we had to do there. But let's go and see what we can see for frontline shared. You can see here we go to frontline and then we get this new shared option. This is the difference. So we can either have standard, we can have frontline dedicated, or we can have frontline shared. Okay, so I'm going to select that. Uh, we're going to do Microsoft Enter ID join geography so we're going to select i don't know a uk self okay that's the next gallery image you probably recommend doing a custom image if you're using frontline shared because these decks are non-persistent remember right so we want to make sure that the application is stored on that 
Um, and obviously we're not storing any user profile settings as well. So maybe you want to put a manage your profile on these settings. If you need wallpaper to be a particular thing, or if you need certain font or something like that, probably want to make sure that the image has all that information in it because the users won't be able to personalize these desktops. Okay. So we're going to select our language and region, which is United Kingdom. So we're going to set next on that. We're not going to set any, any tags. Assignments, assign cloud PCs by group. These people need to have access to the shared cloud PC created by the provisioning policy. Okay, so provisioning an appropriate number of cloud PCs based on the available licenses and the number of users and the expected number of users connecting at any given time, right? So we got a concurrent user ratio of like 20 and we need to make sure that we need to provision 20 of these. Okay. Um, so add groups just as a test, I'll stick a group in there. So let me put in the dirt. I'm just going to stick here yeah, Windows 365 license in there. Okay, Cloud PC. Now here it's actually not letting me select one because I don't have any provisions. So we're just going to skip past this for now. In here we need to put the assignment name and say so the number of Cloud PCs. So we're doing like 20 concurrent Cloud PCs. And we need to put 20 in there as well. I'm just going to select that. It won't let me go past the screen, but that's the different screens that you'd have when you're basically going through changing all the different settings and don't also have any frontline licenses assigned. So that may be why it's also not letting me get past this screen. All right, so now you can see what the differences are. So just a quick summary, we've got frontline, we've got normal, um, which is the one-to-one -one mapping. We have frontline, which is basically one license covers three users. Um, only one user can access any desktop at any one time, but they get three individual desktops. Only one person could be logged on um, using that license. And then you've got frontline shared mode. So frontline shared mode, the user doesn't save the profile. The user doesn't get a dedicated um, device. Um, and prices haven't been announced for that yet, but there will be soon. The use cases, so frontline 365 standard, obviously office worker working 95 uses is like Intune applications need to be logged on to that eight hours a day. It wants the same user experience, that type of thing. We have the the Windows frontline device. So that's going to be shift workers, people working at the factory, uh, nurses, they get their own personal profile. They get their own dedicated device. There's differences between Windows frontline shared, your profiles aren't saved. If you use the image, your applications will be, but every time you log onto that device, it's not going to save any settings like wallpaper or application settings. So they're the main difference between the three of them. Each one has their very different use case. Now let's look at the costs and, and see what the cost comparisons are between the three of them. Okay. First, let's look at the cost of a Windows 365 standard license. Here, I'm going to use one particular example where we have a two vCPU with eight gigs and 120 gigs of RAM, that's gonna cost you $45 a month. If I've got 10 users, that's gonna cost me $450 a month for that Windows 365 license with two CPUs and eight gigs of RAM. Now let's compare that cost to a Windows 365 frontline. So again, same spec machine, is we've got two CPUs, eight gigs, 120 gig disk, $62. Okay, so one of them's 45, one of them's 62. If we do some quick mathematics, imagine the scenario we've got, keep it simple here, we've got three users, each wanted to log on to a desktop, but they work in shifts. So if I were to buy three Windows 365 licenses, it's going to cost me $135. Okay. So that's how much I'm going to pay. However, if you went and bought one frontline license and distributed that to those three users, it's going to cost me $62, right? Obviously with the caveat that um, only one person can access um, that license. Now, where it gets interesting is this is essentially concurrent user licensing. So we can basically distribute these licenses amongst multiple users we can ensure user concurrency. So let's take an example where we've got 300 users in a company, but maybe only 100 of those users access the desktop at any one time, okay? Which is quite a common scenario. Let's take a look at that. So we have um, 
300 users in the environment. They all need access to a desktop. Um, we have thirteen and a half thousand dollars a month. That's how much it would cost them for, for that SKU of desktop. If we decided to give them a hundred frontline licenses, which would give them capability for a hundred users at a time to access those desktops, one hundred users at a time can access those desktops. It would cost six thousand two hundred dollars. So that's a saving of $7,300. But you can see considerable saving to be had here, especially if your users log in and out all the time. Could be much, much cheaper solution. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just think about how your users are going to work. Unfortunately, the, the, the pricing for shared mode hasn't been released yet, so I can't really tell you um, what that's going to be, but I can imagine it'll be considerably cheaper. But the use case is very different for that. It's for users who just need to log in and out within an hour or 10 minutes or something. It's not meant for prolonged usage. But the key thing you need to think about is that concurrency. So if, if you have 500 users and 500 users who log in every day, eight hours a day, you need to use standard. But if you have... 300 users and only 100 people log in at any one time frontline is going to save you an absolute fortune so i've done a comparison to see what the equivalent avd cost would be with 300 users all logging at the same time on a multi-session host it would cost six thousand six hundred and sixty five dollars for 300 users which is considerably cheaper than what you would get with a single session and if we're doing with 100 users let's just have a quick look and see how much would that cost as well so with 100 users obviously this is multi-session so it is going to be a lot cheaper and that's going to be like two thousand four hundred and seventy eight dollars so this will so for me multi-session is always cheaper but if a user needs that persistent desktop then windows cloud pc is a great solution if they just need access to a desktop and are okay with a, a shared of avd session host then AVD multi session is also um, a great solution. Each business always has their own technical and business requirements. There's no one size fits all. Just want you to make you aware of those cost differences as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.